I listen to metal. I grew up with metal. I've done everything that I possibly could. That's why I feel like that it's time to see what the rest of the world has to offer in other genres as well. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. Hope that you're excited. We are starting off with the only piece of media I had ever heard before uh, One Week Club, and that was uh, when I took about eight seconds of the song to do the announcement for this. And so I might recognize it. Probably not. <laughs> I found a live version, though. So let's check it out. Oh, what a voice. Sheesh. <laughs> I feel pretty good about this song. Um, the interesting thing is about this is that you can uh, just tell that they have a really high level of stage presence. They really know how to feel the stage, you know? Really, really quite, I'd say, ambitious is the word that I think I would use. And I like that because ambitious and, you know, having being ambitious and having creativity... It, uh, it definitely, I think, uh, breeds in some new ideas and some new flavor. And I think that I could say that, I, that you see that here. You know, there's there's a lot of to their stage performance that I think is a lot more... I think it's fair to say that they have kind of an aggressive uh, 
stage presence. Not like it's like crazy aggressive, but you know, it's just a little more hyped up. It's a little more in your face. And uh, in a sense, that kind of gives them that signature sound. But the thing that I kind of like about it, though, is that there are touches. You know, it's kind of like how everybody always in uh, K-pop, they always kind of do the reverse of this where <clears throat> they will have like a ballady song and then like have one person that's meant for like the gritty side of things. But they kind of almost do like the opposite of that in this, right? Like where it's like the whole song is like in your face, very, very like, um, you know, just very not soft. <laughs> and then, you know, they have moments where they use their main vocalist to provide these small little touches of softness. And I think that that's kind of cool to do that because, I, like I said, this is almost like the reverse of a lot of K-pop songs. The song just has really good balance to it throughout, like I said. And um, it puts a little bit of extra pressure on the vocalist to do that. But you know what, to be honest, he handled it and it came out sounding great. Um, I do think that the one thing that is kind of interesting about this is the backing, you know, like the, the melody behind them. It's kind of interesting to hear a, I would say, a guitar-led melody. Um, it's not really something that you see a lot in uh, in K-pop. Less more so, less so with uh, groups that are a little more up on on uh, the hip-hop side of thing. But they did it, and I think the what's interesting is to me the style of guitar and kind of like what they chose to have as like the melody does let it breathe. This song feels very spacious in the sense of like big open percussion and then have really um, a melody that kind of lets breathe the vocals, you know. And again, one thing that I find that's kind of interesting about their music is just there's a little bit of patience just a little bit of patience with the songwriting, and I think it really pays off. Again, there's there's these little details that I really, really like. Very cool. Very cool. I like this. And of course, <laughs> the, the dancing is awesome. <laughs> Choreography is really interesting. They have a very, I feel like, different way of how they do um, their choreography, and I think it actually also is one thing that helps them stand out. I do. <laughs> Anyway, let me know what y'all think. We'll discuss this in the comments down below. Thank you.